Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video to show you <laughs> what all is in my storage yeah, rolling uh, unit here. Um, I know some people use this for work boxes. That's not what I'm going to be using it for. I'm going to be using it for the most commonly used um, supplies. So mostly art supplies. So let's just get into it. All right, first drawer we have stock mark modeling beeswax. Um, these are the extras in these two boxes, and then this is what she's currently working on. Um, back here is just uh, cheap. I think it was like two and a half dollars from Michaels, um, and it's modeling clay. Um, I'm not sure if we'll do that um, to keep or if we'll just always kind of just play with that. But we'll just give her another option. In the second drawer, we have felt. Of lots of different colors. Um, I actually went back to get some browns and grays because there is a um, craft project you do involving a headband of making ears. So that should be interesting. I think it's week two that you make the ears. I could be wrong. Uh, then a pack of pipe cleaners. Third drawer I have clothespins with tissue paper because in week two we're doing the clothespin butterfly project. Uh, and then a pack of construction paper and some glue. Then in the third drawer, I have our watercolor painting supplies. Um, I don't even think I'll be using this tray. I have a friend who's going to give me some glass baby food jars to reuse. And you only need red, blue, and yellow. Um, and this is a really good quality uh, watercolor brush. I think, I want to say it's um, cat ear. That's the shape of it. But it's three-fourths inch, which is the size that they recommend. And um, I just actually had somebody tell me that this is really good for kids because they can slop it on, but then they can bring it up to a fine point if they want to. So that's why I got that. Um, and then just really good watercolor people. There's only 10 sheets in there, but it's really thick, good quality stuff. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of wet on wet watercolor painting. So we need that. And I'll just always use a 40% off. Mom, off this drawer is so uninspiring and we're probably going to get rid of it. Here, do you want this? Do you want that? No. No? See, even, even the two doesn't want it. He wants the chipmunks. Anyways, this is coloring books and um, crayons, which we haven't used in forever. So I'll probably end up emptying that out. And this one, too, is kind of uninspiring. We have some stencils. Um, which she hasn't played with in a while, and some mazes, which actually she does play with these pretty often. Um, she is quite the fan of mazes, crowns, there's some Lego block crowns, flowers, a sir made for our supplies. Oh, and then this is actually just paint, so acrylic paint. We have a different kind of paper down here that's not as expensive. Um, and then again, red, yellow, and blue. And then in here is just some paintbrushes. So these are lesser quality paintbrushes for just a um, And then she knows by the kitchen is a little cup that she uses. She puts water in and she knows that she The next drawer is Tanagram, which um, I've used these sheets before. And I even, oh God, the toddler is in here. And he's like, let me just have this one. Go ahead. Um, which we have these alphabet. <laughs> we just pull it. We have this alphabet uh, ones that you can match up the tangrams to the alphabet. But we probably won't be using those. I'll probably put um, a sheet of paper in here, and then when we're reviewing a letter or something, I'll have her see if she can um, make it without using this. Just a blank piece of paper. See if she can make two shapes. And that doesn't have to be perfect, but you know. Um, down here is, oh, here, he's still, hang on, hang on, hang on. Alright, he's going to just take every drawer. Um, down here is the duo dots. We haven't used in a long time. We did confessions of a homeschooler, uh, her letter of the week curriculum. So a lot of the things we kind of have left over. But um, there's a lot of, these are the glass beads I'll probably put into another project. Um, some Lego blocks, some pom-poms, and then a math bracelet for me graciously gifted us and then this is the main lesson blocks which I let uh, the five year old pick out which color she wants and then this has the beeswax block crowns. Are you okay? I think you hit your head. Um, and so the green one she wanted to be the ABCs. Uh, the purple one I think is the nature one so we just, when we do science we'll grab our nature one and um, 
that is it. So I just wanted to go over this and kind of share what we've got on hand. I better stop this video or I'm going to have a mess to deal with. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.